Russia has embarked on a bold journey to assert its independence from Western technology by developing its own aircraft. This ambitious project, MC-21, is poised to challenge the dominance of industry giants Airbus and Boeing, with forecasts suggesting that countries around the globe will soon line up to beg for ordering. Why? And how will it reshape the global aviation landscape? Let's explore this in today's episode. Before 2022, Russia relied on the West for developing aircraft and its components, but this changed when the West effectively removed Russia from its economy. Russia was forced to become more independent in various sectors, including aviation. The Yakovlev Design Bureau, part of Russia's UAC group, began developing commercial aircraft in 2007 to replace aging Tupolev aircraft. The aircraft, initially named Yak-242, was later renamed Yakovlev MC-21, following domestic certification in 2016. This aircraft has two variants, 200 and 300, with the MC-21-300 debuting on June 20, 16, becoming one of the first aircraft to use composite technology for its wings. Although the aircraft made its first flight on May 20, 17, it has not yet been implemented as of March 20, 24, due to Western sanctions and Russia's prior protectionism. The MC-21 project is one of Russia's largest efforts in the civilian aviation sector, with an estimated total investment of around 10 billion USD. This massive investment includes costs for research and development, building production facilities, and conducting certification tests. The investment is primarily funded by state-owned companies and financial institutions in Russia, such as Rostec, United Aircraft Corporation, UAC for short, and state-owned banks. This demonstrates the Russian government's strong commitment to developing the domestic aviation industry. Producing the MC-21 also requires significant costs for equipping production plants and manufacturing equipment with the use of carbon fiber technology for the aircraft's wings, although it improves performance, also increasing production costs. So let's see how outstanding the results of this investment are. President Vladimir Putin has revealed plans to manufacture at least 1,000 domestically produced aircraft by 2030. Over $10 billion have been spent on the MC-21 program, yet only a few aircraft have been produced. It has a relatively large order book with over 300 units, almost from Russian airlines, but the question remains, is this aircraft any good? We will explore after this, but before doing that, listen to me. You won't want to miss hot news and our interesting analysis about aviation. So please subscribe if you're new here. We would appreciate it if you like, share, and leave your thoughts below. Thanks a lot. The Russian aircraft stands out with its carbon composite wings and lightweight aluminum alloy fuselage, which help reduce weight and enhance performance. The MC-21-200 seats between 132 and 165 passengers, and the 300 variant accommodates between 163 and 211 passengers. The 200 variant is expected to compete with the Airbus A320 Neo and Boeing Max 7, while the MC21300 is set to rival the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737 Max 9. Initially, the aircraft used the Pratt and Whitney GTF 1400G engines, but due to Western sanctions affecting access to these engines, Rostec had to seek an alternative. The chosen engine for this purpose is the Aviadvigetel PD14 a high-bypass turbofan engine produced in Russia, which was first accepted on January 20, 20. The PD-14 engine provides approximately 14,000 to 15,000 pound force, approximately 62 to 67 kilonewtons of thrust, which is consistent with the requirements of the MC-21 aircraft. One of the most the innovative designs is its wings, as UAC aims to compete with modern Airbus and Boeing variants. The MC-21 requires upgrades to some components to meet contemporary demands, one of which is the wings. In 2021, it was equipped with composite polymer materials produced in Russia and manufactured using patented vacuum infusion technology. Over 4 billion rubles, or approximately 45 million USD, were invested by Russia to develop these composite wings. Today, composite materials make up about 40% of its airframe, providing it with a robust yet relatively lightweight structure. The MC-21, a highly interesting aircraft, is designed to compete directly with Airbus and Boeing models, particularly the Airbus and Boeing aircraft. 
A typical comparison in the current aviation industry is between the Yakovlev MC-21 and the Boeing 737 MAX, especially the MAX 9 version. Recent issues with the Boeing 737 MAX, such as the door latch incident on an Alaska Airlines. MAX 9 in late January 20th, 24, have once again raised concerns about the safety of this aircraft line. Although most Boeing planes have returned to service, these events have cast doubts on its future. The uncertainty surrounding the Boeing aircraft could create an opportunity for this Russian aircraft, especially as Western Airlines might be hesitant to incorporate this aircraft into their fleets. Regarding cost, the MC-21 stands out with its competitive pricing. The MC-21-310 is priced around $91 million, significantly lower than the $130 million for the MAX 9. Notably, Rostec's CEO mentioned that Russian airlines could purchase it for just $37 million, reducing investment costs for airlines. In terms of cabin design, it offers more space compared to the MAX 9. While the difference is not substantial, the added comfort could be a deciding factor for some airlines. In addition, it can carry up to 211 passengers, while the MAX 9 can accommodate up to 220. Both aircraft have similar ranges of about 3,300 nautical miles, though the MAX aircraft can extend to 3,550 nautical miles under optimal conditions. The MC-21 also impresses with its modern clean wing design, which could influence future aircraft designs across the industry. These advantages suggest that, despite facing some barriers, the MC-21 has the potential to carve out a significant position in certain segments of the global aircraft market. Which aircraft do you think is better? Is the MC-21 or the 737 MAX? Please share your thoughts in the comments. However, despite Russia's bold move and the seemingly impressive features of the aircraft, the Russian-made plane still faces several challenges in conquering the global aviation market. Firstly, Russian airlines are grappling with significant difficulties in maintaining the safety of their current fleets. With limited access to foreign parts, many airlines have been forced to take emergency measures. Specifically, they have resorted to cannibalizing parts from inactive aircraft to keep their operational planes flying. This practice not only raises safety concerns, but may continue as long as sanctions remain in place. The MC-21 prototypes still rely on Western technology, which is no longer available due to the embargo. Some technologies cannot be replaced with locally produced alternatives. Yakovlev will need to address what cannot be sourced from Russia or non-aligned countries, potentially leading to safety issues. For maintaining their existing Airbus and Boeing fleets, airlines can still purchase spare parts, though at a very high cost. Additionally, the aircraft is not very popular outside of Russia. To truly gain widespread acceptance, leaders must address the issue of having sufficient spare parts available wherever the planes operate so they can remain operational. Russia is struggling to produce enough to build a few aircraft. In reality, Russia has sought to circumvent sanctions by using countries that do not adhere to the embargo to import critical components. Countries like Turkey, the UAE, and Tajikistan have become transit points for these parts providing Russia with additional options for maintaining aircraft operations. However, using counterfeit parts or importing through intermediary countries often comes with high costs and does not always resolve all maintenance and safety issues. Thus, while these efforts may help Russia temporarily overcome some difficulties, they are not perfect solutions and often fail to fully address existing problems. Secondly, the MC-21 faces significant issues with certification. Specifically, it was denied certification by European authorities on March 14, 2022. This rejection is largely due to sanctions and political issues related to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Currently, there are no signs that this decision will be reversed, especially as the Russian military presence in Ukraine persists. The lack of international certification makes it difficult for the MC-21 to access global markets, although Russia is focusing on developing and producing the aircraft to meet domestic demand and for markets not affected by sanctions. Effect on Russia The development of the MC-21 has had several significant impacts on Russia. First, it has enhanced Russia's self-sufficiency and reduced dependence on Western aviation technology. Previously, Russia relied heavily on Western companies for aircraft components and technology. With the aircraft, Russia can be more proactive in designing and manufacturing aircraft, 
promoting the growth of its domestic aviation industry and minimizing risks associated with sanctions. Second, its development has stimulated domestic research and development in aviation technology, including the use of advanced composite materials for aircraft wings. This not only enhances Russia's technological capabilities, but also creates new opportunities for the domestic aviation industry and local parts suppliers. Third, the MC-21 helps Russia enter the global commercial aircraft market, creating opportunities to compete with major manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus. This not only expands Russia's economic and political influence internationally, but also provides opportunities for international airlines to operate Russian aircraft. Finally, its development demonstrates Russia's ability to overcome challenges posed by sanctions, showcasing its resilience and adaptability in maintaining and advancing its aviation industry. What do you think about this aircraft's potential in the highly competitive aviation market? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you and have safe flights.